<laughs> anyway, so wow. Uh, before I left on this three week excursion, I had to I bought all all the wines I could through through August actually, and wow, we and we were just talking about how how you've been getting these barrel samples that are just like the ones we just tasted, which have been average at best. Uh huh. But some of these bottled goods I've been getting have been pretty amazing, like this Mesadora. Yeah, I know. I, I it, that, that stuff's amazing. So, what have we got here? Well said, Ed. That stuff's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. This is uh, Listern et Frigola. Vin de Pays de Oc. Pays d'Oc. Pays d'Oc. De Oc. So this is... Um, uh, you know, oh, these wines... Cabernet Merlot. This, okay, this is why I love this. Yeah, this is, this is really good. Cool. This is... You know, this is what's happening down in Languedoc, right? They're growing all kinds of varietals, and they're learning how to adapt them to, and, including Charles Bertrand... I mean, it's uh, Maspaillet and this Maspaillet, but yeah. Bertrand. Uh, well, Bertrand, we've done before. And, uh, those wines are unbelievable. I mean, right. they are absolutely yeah, amazing. They are so good. charged with all kinds of varietals, and here we have a Cab Merlot from the Languedoc. Well, we've had a lot of these wines from this guy, and we've had a lot of, you know, Rhone style wines, Grenache, Syrah, Morvedre, Cinso, et cetera, et cetera. <sighs> but, but gosh, so good. But everything this guy makes is great, you know? I love the balance, and it's uh, 60 cab, no, yeah, 60-40. Yeah, 60-40 cab Merlot, but I mean. And I can see this aging. The mm -hmm. nose is spectacularly complex. A little fruit forward, but. Really, really, really nice wine. $29.99 is the regular shell price, the $13.99 reorder, and boy, I'm at a 98 for that. Like, that's. Just, I think you're getting sold. It says 98 on the list here. Well, uh, I've 96, had 96, 97. I've been tasting so many crappy wines lately. When you uh, taste something true. really good, you go, "Oh wow!" I, you know, I'm serious. I've tasted so many bad wines lately, and it's just, it's like, is it me? You know, I was, I was almost beginning to wonder if maybe I, my taste buds were going because I tasted like. No, it's true though. That's what happens. Eight right? or ten wines. I go, these are terrible. There are some Tuesdays where I start and I'm going, nothing's very good. Yeah. Know, maybe it's my palate. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I screwed up. I've been taking medication. No. Yeah. And then you realize it, the good wine comes in. You go, oh no, it was the wine. That's <laughs> yeah, the wine, you know. So, let that be a lesson to you, boys and girls. Don't, 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 uh, don't dispel your own palate. <clears throat> I think that's extraordinarily fun. That is a really uh, fabulous uh, fire wine. And, and uh, what a great here's here's what I learned on my trip because I took. Um, two what did sets you of learn friends, about your trip? Two couples. We had, we actually had four or five couples ultimately, but at one time there were two other couples. Both of them. One guy, a very learned wine guy, who's trying to learn, who's always looking stuff up. He appreciated the Lafitte tour and was fascinated by the Beaujolais tour. And my other friend, who's now just built a wine cellar's house, he's trying to fill it up. He wants me to fill it with him. He was fascinated by the subject. Mm -hmm. And I finally got them over the hump of Napa Valley Cabernet. You know, just, we don't have to drink Napa Valley Cabernet every day. We can try other things. Oh, boy. Well, did I, <laughs> did I send you the, this long article about if it ain't Napa, it ain't wine? 